Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, muddled muppet. Well, happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My birthday today. Um, for my birthday, I got my lovely HD PDR, which is how I'm doing this shit now. But the question is, here's a question for you all. Well, how old am I? Now, a lot of people, when they hear my voice, think I'm a lot younger than I am. A lot of people, when they hear my sense of humor, think I'm even a lot younger than that. Well, the truth of the matter is, I'm 50. That is right, 5-0. 50 years old and still playing consoles and computer games and stuff like that. So, here's the question. What do you think about that? Now, some people will say, what the fuck are you doing still messing around with computer games at your age? You should be enrolling in a bowling club. In fact, you should probably be in a retirement home wearing slippers with a little tartan rug over your knees. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just go and lie in the corner somewhere and die quietly. Or maybe just put me on an ice floe and, you know, push me out like the way that the Eskimos do, I think. I think it was the Eskimos. Anyway, what do you think? Me, personally, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm going to be playing games as long as my fingers and thumbs don't get so arthritic that I can't hold a controller. And some people agree. They say, hell yeah, I'm going to play games until I'm 80. I'm going to play games until I can't anymore. So, post your opinions on that. I'm curious. I'm not going to change my mind. Thing is, as you get older, your <laughs> your perspective changes. Um, when I was younger, I can remember thinking, why the hell would somebody even want to live past 40? You know, you, you're practically dead. Your body's all messed up. And, you know, you lose your looks. Why would you even want to live? But the thing is, once you reach 40, you change your mind. So some of you might be thinking, no, that's way too old to play games, and I'm going to stop when I'm 21, or I'm going to stop when I'm 30. The interesting thing is, will you still feel like that? You know, when you just get this arbitrary date that you set upon yourself and say, I'm not going to play games past this point. Um, right, other stuff I need to talk about. There is some very important stuff going on. One is, I am slowly getting addicted to espresso coffee. Man, that is like coffee on crack cocaine. I, I kid you not. Uh, I've got an espresso machine at home. Had it for a while, and I was using it to make cappuccinos and lattes and stuff. But just lately, I just down one espresso after another. It is ridiculous. Uh, just can't be good for me, but hell, I love it. Now the other thing is, this is only really related to Gotham City. Um been quite a few downloads out you know DLC content and there's going to be more on the way brilliant we all think great but monolith please sort out the core gameplay you really have to do this first of all yesterday me and quite a few mates we decided we were going to try and make a, a funny video with everyone on the team being uh, either ninja smoke bomb users and then do a video with everyone using the deep freeze and we couldn't do it because we couldn't all get on the same team at the same time it was just impossible we tried for four hours and we just had loads of disconnects um, you know y you name it there was parties collapsing hold on a second there's me dog shut up dog there yeah. I love my dog uh, but anyway we just couldn't get it done because of parties collapsing lobbies collapsing I kept getting kicked from the party after virtually every game, and I was the party leader. Yeah. You've got to get it sorted, man, because people want to play it together. Otherwise, they're going to move on to something else. They will. Games are coming out all the time. Why would somebody stay with one game if they can't play it with their mates? When another game comes out that they want to play with their mates and have fun, that's the games that they're going to turn to. Now, that would be really sad. I think Gotham City is such a funny game. It's got its problems, it's got its flaws, but, you know, I haven't been so much into a game for ages. But I've tried getting loads of people to get this game, and they all end up saying, no, it's not for me. And why? Not because of the gameplay. Not because of the graphics aren't fantastic. Nothing like that. It's because they sit there for ages trying to get a game, Often when they get a game it's laggy and the party system doesn't work. It has to be fixed and this has to be a priority. Much more than, you know, new DLC. 
because if people stop playing the game, your DLC isn't going to sell. Again, um, post comments, you know, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, is playing in part is even important for people? Is it important to get that right? See what you think, see what you think. We're pretty much coming uh, to the end of this game now. I had a good run, but didn't win the game, as you can probably tell. Um, and it's, it's going to be over soon. Now, at the end of this, and at the beginning you would have seen a web address there, ps3coffindodges.com. If you're an old guy like me, or maybe a little bit younger, but certainly no kids, give them a try. Real friendly guys there. You enjoy yourself somewhere nice to hang out. This is Muppet Out. You take care, and I'll see you again soon. Na 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 na